All right, everyone, so we're back from the SAT math video. We're back on that geometry grind. This one says, in the figure shown, lines R and S are parallel, and line M intersects both lines. So we got a parallel line cut by a transversal, so we want to be thinking about vertical angles, alternate interior angles, all that stuff. Um, if Y is less than the value of 65, which of the following must be true? So let's, let's just go right through it. So it says, X has to be less than 150. So X is this angle right here. And because it says y has to be less than 65, and uh, which of the following must be true for all values of y, uh, we could just plug in a random value for y. So let's just call y 64 degrees, right? Because that uh, satisfies that equation. And so now we know that this y right here is 64 degrees. And so the angle opposite of that, that's going to be vertical angle. So this is also going to be 64 degrees. And we can see here that this 64 degree angle and angle x these are consecutive interior uh, angles and so what happens is that they are supplementary so they have to add up to 180 degrees so you get 180 minus 64 which gives us oops that was real messy okay 64 equals 116 degrees so interesting note here is that 116 is greater than 115 so that does not add up with a and therefore a is wrong um if we were to lower this uh, angle which we would have to i mean if we had like 64.99 we would end up getting what like 115.0001 right um but let's see if b is true so it says b says x has to be greater than 115. is that true well we know that the biggest value of y that we can have is 65 or not even 65 because it can't even be equivalent to it. It would have to be like 64.999. And therefore, if we had um, 180 minus 64.999, et cetera, right? That would yield, what? what is that? 115.0000, et cetera, one, right? That's messy, but you get the point. So basically, we can't ever go underneath 115 degrees for x if y is less than 65. Therefore, b is our answer, but let's just check the other answers to be sure. So it says x plus y has to be less than 180 degrees and x plus y has to be greater than 180 degrees. Um, well, we just proved it here, right? We said that if y, we could just name it 64 degrees, vertical angles, this is 64 degrees, we find that x would have to be 116 degrees. 116 plus 64 is 180 degrees. And so neither c or d is correct because x plus y will always be equivalent to 180 degrees. And that does it for the video. If it helped, make sure you subscribe and check out our other SAT math prep videos. And I'll see you guys in the next.